What is the importance of reflection for learning in experiential education? For students, having the opportunity to reflect on their EL activities opens the door to assess their own values, goals, assumptions and actions, develop higher level thinking and problem solving skills, and link their experiences to course curriculum. They can reflect on their EL to gain insight into their strengths and weaknesses and use their new understanding and knowledge to make decisions about potential careers. For faculty, engaging students in reflection is an effective assessment technique that enables them to gauge where students are in their learning and to refine a course to better meet their needs. In the workplace, there can be a tendency to be on autopilot and to go about our day moving from one project to the next without taking time to take in the experience. Research shows that the reflective practitioner learns more than someone who does not take time to reflect. One aspect of this course that is uh, really important is the, the idea of critical reflection that we ask students to engage in. And this is a process that we use uh, as, more, as both a formative and a summative uh, feature of the class. And in terms of uh, experiential learning theory, reflection is a key component of, of that process. Uh, so we ask uh, during the, the course, for example, when students are done teaching their technical skill when they're out on the canoe trip, we'll provide immediate feedback to them. Uh, we'll get comments from their peers who are their students for that uh, lesson. And the instructors also provide uh, some comments back to those uh, teachers uh, about their lesson. And then we ask uh, all the students in the class to often they'll keep a journal. Um, I will we'll, uh, have evening debriefs usually around the campfire every night that have a reflective component um, on kind of major events for the day. Uh, I mentioned uh, we often have a leaders of the day component so we'll check in with those people on what went well, what didn't go well, what they could do differently in the future, what suggestions they would have. Um, we also uh, it, it, Part of the critical reflective process for this is tying what students are experiencing back to theory and that often is one of those things that you have to be very specific about doing in, a, in an experiential course because it's easy to get caught up in oh we're doing things we're having these great experiences but how does that relate back to what we've talked about in class and that um, i think would be a big piece of advice for people who are thinking about doing this would be really build in time for reflection and also create structures for your students and for your instructors to facilitate authentic reflection. I think there's always two levels to it as well, right? If, uh, if it's a properly crafted experiential learning opportunity, then myself as a facilitator or a teacher is also going to be going through that same process of, you know, uh, experiencing something, kind of reflecting and unpacking, how did that work? And then adjusting it and then and then trying it out again in a way that that fits the environment that fits the people that you're working with um, so that's happening at the teacher and facilitator level as well and then in a, in a very subtle way that's that's a role modeling I think for the students as well to be able to put to them and say uh, to gain from that that reflective portion to be able to say how did that work for you what what, what happened what didn't happen what you know what, what can we get from that um, if I as a teacher or a facilitator can then take that information and apply it to how the next class goes, the next program goes, then I think you're building a pretty tight, um, a pretty tight mechanism for, for experiential learning. So they uh, provide, they provide a peer evaluation, they provide a, 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 a reflection piece as well, and it is packaged up and provided to me to make sure that I've had the opportunity to learn from their experience as well that that's a critical piece for me as a professional to be reading attentively their reflections understanding what has worked well for them uh, in terms of the learning process and where i need to um, i need to modify so that to be honest with you i'm doing these projects for several years and every year it's a process improvement so i'm continuously and i think that's important to model for students to be reflective practitioners, whether or not they're a health and safety specialist or whether they're a training and development specialist, the process of having them do a self-reflective exercise helps them to become a, a reflective practitioner, which will be really important to them as, as professionals.